Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I'm an awful garbage filthy mouse, so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Welcome my little munchkin cupcakes, cranberry tarts, I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to New Makeup Hangover. Essentially, this idea was crafted by myself, Emily Hanhan, -Han, and Audra from Audra at Home. Essentially, this is, um, well, some of these products are the runoffs from the products that we pulled during Makeup Bingo. Sprinkled in with some new releases because every six seconds a new makeup product is born. And it's our job to tell you our opinion on it, whether you wanna hear it or not. During these videos, there are no bingo cards, no adult libation, just vitamin water and contemplation. Definitely go check out Emily and Audra's videos and tell them I said hi. But before, I get all Andy Rooney and weird because there are some things that I'm like low-key excited about and some things I have no idea what they are and I'm showing my age <laughs> but before I do all of that I want to say thank you so much to Monk Pack for sponsoring today's episode. I absolutely love Monk Pack, you all know that and I'm excited to continue to work with them because they make delicious products. So if you have been living under a rock, <laughs> baby, let me tell you a little bit about them. Monk Pack offers low sugar, keto-friendly bars that are plant-based, gluten-free, and non-GMO. These bars are not just for people eating keto. They are the perfect snack for anyone that's trying to eat better or cut back on sugar and carbs without sacrificing the taste. Usually healthy snacks have that weird aftertaste that's just like, this is not right. <laughs> And a lot of times it's commonly associated with low sugar foods, but that is not the case here. They are packed with flavor and have good clean ingredients. For example, their keto granola or nut and seed bars contain one gram of sugar, two to three grams of net carbs, and each bar contains about 150 calories or less. As I mentioned many times talking about this brand, I discovered them a long, 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 long time ago when I used to live in a cubicle. And while management tried to feed us snacks instead of raises, most of the snacks that they served us were on the same level as applesauce and newspaper. Yum. So when they introduced Monk Pack to us, it made the day more manageable. It made small talk more manageable. I finally care about John's great dumpster find or even Nancy's spoon collection, or the funny thing that Sharon's dog did yesterday, okay? I could finally now listen without rolling my eyes. <laughs> and that's all thanks to this delicious snack. Monk Pack bars have a delicious chewy texture and come in different flavors. My favorites as of this week have been sea salt dark chocolate keto nut seed bar and the peanut butter cocoa chip granola bar. Honestly, it doesn't even matter what flavor you get because every flavor is absolutely delicious. I have not had one bad flavor because I don't think it exists. They're great for a quick breakfast, snack, dessert, or just staring into the void before your next Zoom meeting. In any case, these snacks will definitely make your day a whole lot brighter. So stop eating inferior snacks and try Monk Pack. They are so confident in their product, it's back to the 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll exchange the product or refund your money, whichever you prefer. So if you're looking to try the most delicious little snacks, you can get 20% off your first order of any Monk Pack product by visiting monkpack.com and entering the code Teresa at checkout. Or click the link in the description box below to get 20% off. Again, thank you to Monk Pack for sponsoring today's video. Y'all go support the sponsors that support your garbage queen. Listen, usually these videos tend to be a little bit longer. Long. I'm just trying to help you out, okay? <laughs> These snacks pair very well with trash talking makeup. Just saying, okay? Just saying. All right. We don't have that many products to talk about, but there are some things that I'm like, ooh. So let's start with the one product that I actually want to talk about from the last episode of Makeup Bingo that I didn't get to pull. And it's actually kind of two products within this one brand. There's a brand called Bella Beauty Bar, which I have seen some of their palettes. I have never tried anything from the brand before. Everything looked adorable. I, I don't really have a good reason on why I didn't pick it up or anything like that. Maybe because, I don't know, there's just so much fucking makeup. I don't know. <laughs> But in any case, I haven't picked up anything from the brand. And then my heart stopped um, when I saw this palette. And they are releasing an Oracle Chrome Highlighter Palette. Bitch. Okay, so like what you're seeing right now is the actual picture of an empty palette. However, if you do go to their Instagram, you see what the little bad boys are going to, like they're bad boys, they're, what they're gonna look like. Bitch. I need to have this. I need to have this. I don't give a fuck how much it is. I don't care. 
take my debit card. I don't give a shit, all right? Do you want a piece of my retirement? Sure, fucking take that too. I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. I know you're probably saying it's a fucking highlighter palette. There's something that is literally drawing me to literally give pieces of my retirement away because I just think it's so cool. I love really different kind of highlighters. Like I'm a highlighter queen. I have all different kinds of colors and the colors that I have been gravitating towards lately are just kind of like fun duochrome, multi-chrome, just fucking weirdness, just alien slut to the max highlighters. For example, Sugar Drizzle just released a really beautiful multi-chrome highlighter. Lethal has beautiful duochrome highlighters. Like Odin's Eye has beautiful highlighters. Kaleidos, like I could keep going on. Like there are some really just fucking cool brands out there and I am just hopeful that this is going to be another really good find. It just looks so fucking pretty. And I think maybe because I'm in like my spooky ooky mood, <laughs> so I wanna be surrounded by the macabre, maybe that's what it is too, but it's so fucking cool. So I don't know when the hell it's coming out. It just says it's coming in August. Who knows when the fuck that one's gonna be, but the colors just look so fun. I don't care, I'm gonna buy it, I love it, I want it, give it to me now, daddy. Okay, so that's one. Now the other thing I wanna talk about is um, a palette that my lovely friend here on, on the Instagrams, on the Instagram, I'm like an old bitch, M Jones, the beautiful M Jones, who basically makes some of the most beautiful eye looks that I've ever seen. They're just always so fucking cool and I wish I just had an ounce of her artistry. Like they're just so cool. Her looks always give like this badass bitch vibe and I'm just like here for it. They're sparkly, they're beautiful. And she's coming out with a palette from the same brand and it looks so fucking good. So basically you get five mattes, you have five sparkly shifty duochromes, there's one multi-dimensional multi-chrome, and then you have four custom split pan liners, which I think is pretty fucking unique, especially having all of that in one palette. I love the color story. It's definitely right up my alley. It's very colorful, very fun. But the liners though, I'm intrigued. I think they are probably like, it looks like cake liners. So I'm intrigued to try them because typically cake liners never really work that well for me because I have watery sensitive fucking eyes and my eyes water a lot. So cake liners never really work too well for me because it just fucking rubs away. So I'm curious to see how these are going to work. Now, full disclosure, I am going to be receiving that palette in PR. So I'm going to be making a review video on it. So definitely check it out in the future whenever I get it in my grimy little hands. <laughs> but I am just so excited about the highlighter palette and this. I just think also so the combination of the two are really, really beautiful. So I can't wait to put this all over my motherfucking face. The palette is called a Celestial Garden and that's exactly what it is. It's so fucking pretty. I don't know, it's so pretty and definitely something more unique than what has been coming out as of late, which has just been, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> like just boring bullshit like you know some things have been exciting actually not really I feel like a third of everything that's come out has been exciting majority of it is just gross this is finally something that would like maybe like huh? turn my head like a dog because I was like I need to have this in my life um if you are not familiar with M Jones I'll leave her Instagram down below but oh, it's so good I can't fucking wait Anyway, so this is something that um, it's a got to have item that I got to fucking have basically. And I think that's the only product that was pretty much from last week. Everything that I'm gonna talk about is stuff that has literally come out within the last few days. Oh no, no, I take that back, I take that back. The other product I wanna talk about first is the Melt Bronzers. I kind of want these, but what scares me is that they're ultra matte. So. Mel Cosmetics is releasing the Ultra Matte Bronzers. They're buildable. Ultra Matte Powder Formula blends like a cream. Effortlessly melts into your skin, no patchiness or harsh lines, get instant smooth and sunless warmth in four shades. So you have a light, medium, tan, and dark. The light shade actually, which is Santa Barbara, kind of looks like it's gonna be a really good, like neutral, coolish option. So I kinda am excited for that. Oh, it's fucking available now? <gasps> Bitch, really? Hold on. <laughs> Wait a second, is it Sephora? Oh no, I'm just gonna wait for it to come to Sephora. And the reason why I say that is because when I order anything from Melt Cosmetics, I feel like even with expedited shipping, I still get it fucking two weeks later. And you bitch is impatient and I hate that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wait for it to come to uh, Sephora to go pick it up. But the reason why I kind of like hesitate is that like, ooh, I don't, like matte, when it says like ultra matte, like I'm assuming that it means like, ugh, it's really gonna be like fucking lifeless and it's just gonna suffocate my skin. But then again, I could just be very pessimistic about it and it's probably gonna be just fine. But like when I hear those words in particular, I'm like, no, get that shit away from my body. But, 
I am just obsessed with fucking bronzers lately and the last bronzer I picked up was the kimchi one and this I I, I want to smash it into a million fucking pieces because <laughs> like, I hate the color so much so I have hope I have hope that the light one is actually going to be like a proper light color and not uh, a fucking orange color so fingers crossed my friends fingers crossed but in any case I am kind of excited about this product and I can't wait to put it all over my fucking face because like I said I've just been obsessed with complexion products the more and more I just want to put them all over my body and melt I feel like has been doing okay for the most part like they haven't really pissed me off lately I feel like we sometimes fight <laughs> and sometimes their shit really sucks but sometimes like they surprise me and they do a really good job so I kind of feel like we're in a good relationship right now we'll see what happens when I actually get the bronzer in my hand so <laughs> anyway I think that is the last yep that's the last product uh, that I want to talk about so here are some new things that have been coming out one we have um, the white suede collection from Tom Ford Okay, so here's the thing. When it comes to Tom Ford, I don't know like a lot of lore about Tom Ford. So I feel like, I don't know if they just use the same names over and over again, because the collection oddly sounds familiar, but I don't know why, you know what I mean? So like, I'm kind of like, is this something that already existed? Or is this like a revamping of something? I don't know. Or it's just one of those really fucking boring vanilla names <laughs> that just sounds like I've heard it a million times, but in reality I didn't. I don't know. But if I think about it for any longer, I'm going to pass out. So that said, I fucking love this. <laughs> I love this. Why? Because I'm a basic bitch. Okay. Are you surprised? No. I love this. Actually, I take that back. I actually have a couple of, quite a few now. Like my little collection of Tom Ford's growing. My least favorite products actually are the eyeshadows, ironically enough. And I'm like, ooh, fucking fawning over this thing. But the last palette that they came out with, the cream matte, whatever, whatever the fucking one palette was that came out this year, that's hands down one of my favorite palettes of all time like that is so fucking good it's so good that i actually bought another palette from like the same line because i just needed to have it all over my body and you know what bitch i regret nothing i fucking regret nothing and i plan on picking the third palette up but i'm gonna pick it up during a sephora sale <laughs> mama ain't that rich okay so <laughs> and plus that color story wasn't like that super exciting so like it doesn't warrant a full price tag okay anyway this palette looks so <laughs> it looks so good it's an eye and cheek palette essentially a highlighter a blush and then it just looks like a very simple quad and your bitch is like literally eating this with a spoon like i love it it's so basic i love all the white packaging especially uh from the bronzers i literally have like a stockpile of the top <laughs> four bronzers because i love them so much i feel like they're slowly getting rid of that bronzer and that makes me sad and i don't want to think about it but in any case i I'm so fucking obsessed with this. I love the packaging. I want it. It's probably gonna be something really fucking stupid, like $150, and it's gonna make me like question if I really want it. Get extra drunk that day. <laughs> I'll deal with it later. No, I'm kidding. I will still probably pick this up. Why? Because I'm a monster and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> anyway, this collection also has some lip color satin mattes. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like the shades. I'm not into it. If it was like more of like a basic bitch color, like what I currently have. Yes, bitch. Okay. Cause Tom Ford makes some nice lipstick, but um, I don't like those. Those are no for me. Get the fuck out of here. And then the last thing you have is the shade and illuminate cushion foundation. Okay. I don't, I, I've never tried the cushion foundation. The only thing is that I've ever tried was like the bigger foundation that's worth 150 bucks. And that one's really good. I hate to say it, but it's really good. And I have a skin tint that I actually wind up getting from Beautylish when it was on sale. And you know what? It's not that fucking bad it's actually not that bad nobody talks about it because there are other products that are better than that <laughs> fucking half the price but you know what when it's on sale it ain't so bad after all in any case i love the aesthetic of this i hope that it's going to be a very similar quality to the other palettes that i've been loving lately and i can't wait to put this all over my motherfucking face so i'm 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 here for it i'm fucking here for it finally i feel like i've seen these palettes that come out time and time again and i just never pull the trigger bitch i'm gonna pull the trigger and watch me regret it instantly <laughs> watch me regret it instantly motherfucker anyway i can't wait to put that all over my goddamn face i can't i really can't but more so what i really can't wait to put all over my and i'm actually legitimately excited about this collection i can't believe it either <laughs> natasha denona bitch okay first of all she's been put like literally i feel like her last few collections have been like real snoozy this i'm like <gasps> 
Get the fuck out of here, bitch. I can't wait for this. So this is the My Dream Collection. You have an eyeshadow palette that I can't tell. It looks like a $65 pack. Actually, it can go either way. It could be a $65 or it could be $125. I, I don't know. But you also have a blush and highlighter palette. You have a lipstick, lip liner, and gloss. I plan on picking up everything. I never do that. But there's something about this collection that is literally making my makeup take leave my body, okay? I cannot wait to put this all over my fucking face. First of all, one of the eyeshadows has a fucking multi-chrome in it. And while their multi-chromes are, <sighs> they're not the best, right? Like I think when it comes to high-end multi-chromes, they're definitely not within the ballpark. They're good, but they're not amazing. But it makes me happy to see one of those shades in a palette like this. This looks so deliciously cool toned and just so fucking dreamy and smoky and sexy. And I'm like, yes, bitch, this is perfect for kind of going into the fall and the winter, even though where I live, it's a thousand degrees because I'm close to the sun. <laughs> but I don't care because of my eyeballs. It's gonna look like fall all the time, bitch. I'm obsessed. I love this. The blush and highlighter palette looks so fucking good as well. It looks like definitely the middle highlighter will probably be very good for my skin type. The one on the right, I don't know, that might be too dark. I actually have no idea what the fuck that is, but curious. <laughs> and the blush just looks so good. I don't have like mauve -y kind of blushes like that. So it's definitely something that's going to be new for my collection, which is nice. And uh, typically like, I feel like the formula is kind of hit or miss, right? Like there are some times where she like kills it, but then there's some times where it's like fucking awful. So fingers crossed, it's wonderful. As for the lipstick, I love her lipsticks. I think they're great. I've never tried a lip gloss or a lip liner before, so that's kind of new for me. But in any case, those colors, basic bitch, please. Yes, please. So expect a full review whenever the fuck this shows up. I will definitely even pay expedited shipping because that's how much I cannot wait to put this on my face. Besides that Oracle palette, this is like the second thing that I'm like so fucking excited about. Like so excited. Granted, I was talking a lot of stuff about like how like loving that Tom Ford stuff. But if I had to pick between the two, Natasha Denona is like the clear winner. There's so something about this that is just so fucking gorgeous. I can't wait to put this all over my goddamn body. I hope, I'm gonna pray to the makeup gods. <sighs> Dear makeup lords, please, please, please make this a good collection. <laughs> I feel like a lot of her collections have been really kind of fucking weird, but I just need a home run, okay? I need a home run. Please let this be a home run because I will be so sad if this is shitty. Oh, I hope I didn't jinx us all. Stay tuned and find out if I jinx us all. <laughs> In any case, I'm fucking excited about it and I can't wait to put it all over my goddamn face. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is something that like, I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, so Urban Decay is uh, doing a collaboration because they love doing collabs with IPs. Uh, this time they are doing it with She-Hulk, which is going to be a new show from Marvel. Okay, so I don't know about this one. So... <laughs> The first one I saw it, I was like, oh, nice, okay. And then I looked at it again and I was like, what the fuck is this? Because I think if this was not a She-Hulk, right, inspiration, if, if this was just like Urban Decay naked blah, 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 I'd be like, Okay, look at you, Urban Decay, stepping up your puss. Good for you, baby. But then when I see that it's with the Hulk and the packaging is more green than the actual fucking green shade in the palette, I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Who hurt you? I refuse to believe that the brand that has literally put out these stupid fucking lip vices that are fantastic, by the way, one of the best fucking lip products that I've tried this year, okay, keeps continually putting out this fucking garbage. So there are two palettes in this collection, right? So you have the um, 13 shades, for, like the giant palette that has, I think, two green shades possibly and one purple shade. Most of it is fucking neutral as all hell. The other palette, which I feel like is even more of an insult, bitch, is a smaller eyeshadow palette that has six shades. And in those six shades, uh, which are completely different shades, it's just a neutral palette. I'm not even, I'm not even drinking for this. <laughs> I think, uh, I just don't understand why you wouldn't have more green in a palette or even throw a green shade in the smaller palette. When I look at this colors, if I just remove the packaging, right? I remove She-Hulk and all that stuff. I'm like, okay, it's a nice little boring bitch palette, right? It's pretty, but like, okay, I don't really need to have it. What makes it She-Hulk? What makes it She-Hulk? What, what? Mama is green. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mama is green and purple. Why wouldn't you like be more brave? Like I get it. Urban Decay that's supposed to be like so cutting edge is really the fucking woman that grew up to be like an uptight bitch living in the suburbs. I get it. Okay. <laughs> That's what this palette is, you know, like she only breaks out this palette like, on the weekends when like her and her girlfriends are gonna go get fucking twofers at Applebee's, okay? Like, that's what this is reading to me as and I hate it. I really, I just, uh, I wish there wasn't like the She-Hulk aspect to it. If it wasn't a She-Hulk aspect to it, I'd be like, oh, this is kind of cute. All right, you know what? Not bad, you're kind of getting a little bit edgier sort of not really but like you're trying but i guess like to tie it to this to have like a known character which their colors are fucking green and there's some yellow in there and some purple and to only just like do a cock tease of like two possible green shadows and like a purple shadow and then most of them are fucking shimmers too which i was like what is this what is this your strong suit is not your shimmers urban decay like i don't know who told you that but that is not your strong suit bring some fucking mats in here and the mats i feel like are just oh god they're i mean they're like boring staple mats i don't know I, what, what, what are we doing here what are we doing what are we doing here this is ugh. Hulk out. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even with the fucking shade names. This is something that irritates me. Will I buy it? Maybe. <laughs> and the reason for that <laughs> and the reason for that is because I, you know, listen, I kind of like the color story. I like the color story. I don't like it for She-Hulk, but if it wasn't She-Hulk, I would be like, oh, this is like, this is pretty, this is pretty good fucking cute. Like, okay, like, mm, not bad. It's just the She-Hulk that kind of cheapens the whole thing and just makes it shitty. It's not terrible. Like, I feel like I've seen worse color stories, okay? Um, definitely from Urban Decay, you know? And so part of me kind of wants to be like, you know, I really enjoyed that fucking cyber palette. As, as shitty and weird as that palette is, I really enjoyed it. So I'm like, maybe like I can strike gold again, you know? <laughs> And maybe it won't be so bad. But then, like, I need to, like, rationalize it because I feel like it might be one of those things where, I, once I get it in my hands, it's just the palette that I will only use once and then it goes into the back of the drawer to die, which is not good. You know what I mean? Like, that's not good. Because <sighs> I want to, like, enjoy and play with my makeup. I don't want to be like, oh, this was a mistake. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? It's like, as a review channel, I'm like, I should review it because people are going to be curious, but I'm like, am I really going to use it? Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know. Even the model's look with it. The model is so pretty. They disrespected her face <laughs> by fucking putting this nasty eye look on. The eye look is fine. I mean, it's fine, but it's just so like, <sighs> you know what I mean? I can't with this. I feel like I went on for 35 minutes <laughs> about my distaste. So we're just going to keep on keeping on for that one, but... Yeah, it's a, it's, I'm like in the middle. <laughs> I'll leave it to y'all. Say Hulk smash. Hulk smash. If you want to see me review this palette. Hulk smash for yes. Otherwise say nothing and I'll read the room and I'll go, got it. All right, got it. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. To something a little less controversial or maybe something that's more controversial. I don't know. What exactly is this from ColourPop? <laughs> What is this from Colourpop? This is the High School Musical Collection. Full disclosure, I have never seen High School Musical. I don't really know what that is. I think Zac Efron was born from it though. Right? Now I feel so unsure. <laughs> 2006, yeah. I was in college, okay? Like, I wasn't, like, looking at this. You know, Zac Efron, Vanessa Hudgens, Ashley Tisdale, and a bunch of other people I don't know. All right, so I don't have any emotional attachment to High School Musical. I don't get the references. I don't fucking understand anything about it. It's just over my head. I did see some interesting things in the collection. So there's an eyeshadow palette, which not gonna lie, kind of looks like a boring basic bitch palette actually, which I feel like is very much in line with high school. Then you have three blushes. The blushes look fun. I'm actually excited about the blushes because I feel like those are shades that I would utilize. And then there are three lip crayons. Y'all know how I feel about ColourPop's lip products. Maybe I'll have a more of a high hope for the lip crayon, but we'll see. And then you have the eyeliners, which actually I'm excited about the eyeliners because they are the traditional gel eyeliners, which are the little eyeliners that I love so much. I really hated these little graphics ones. Yes, I fucking shook them and they still look like shit. And the peach one didn't leave my hand for like almost four days, okay? And I was like scrubbing the shit out of my hand in the shower and it still didn't leave, okay? So that's good pigment for that one. 
<laughs> the rest of them, not so much. But um, in any case, like I don't feel anything towards this. Um, I, I know a lot of people are excited about it and I'm like, I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm happy for you because like yes I think like um for me if I were to have like an are you afraid of the dark collab I would literally melt I would just melt into the carpet because that's how excited I would be if we could have a clear six wings at all we could have an all that a uh, roundhouse collection or a Pete and Pete collection I'd be totally down for that so that's more my speed even a goosebumps goosebumps would be fun too but um yeah this I like, I don't feel anything towards I am still ironically enough on their PR <laughs> PR list. I think this is definitely coming my way and uh, so if it is I will definitely will do like a first impressions try on for everything in the collection. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Okay. So it's actually coming out tomorrow. Interesting. Okay. So um oh no no you got y'all will not see this for a little bit. You'll see this Monday. So this has already come out. So yeah if I do get this in PR definitely will put it all over my face and, and let you know what's good or not but I'm happy for the ones that really love this stuff and feel nostalgic and feel some type of way um but the rest of us old bitches are like what the fuck is this <laughs> what is this I don't know what this is so um yeah mm. okay the next thing I want to talk about is from Dior because Dior is coming out with something so fucking beautiful so fucking pretty and it makes me want to throw up because I love it so much I love it so much. The packaging is what's literally just fucking making my insides melt in half. It is so stunning. So this is the Mila Fiori collection. I hope I'm saying that correctly. But basically you have a little basic bitch palette that looks so gorgeous, so delicious. You also have a cushion powder and then you have a Miss Dior products. So you have like a candle, bath tablets, bath pearls, perfume. It looks like you have two lipsticks, which I want both okay like the basic bitch color the nude color yes that's something i would wear the red one not so much but the packaging on that bitch oh my god that looks like you got money <laughs> <laughs> like you just look like a fancy bitch. I love that. The flowers are so dainty and something that like I don't really have a lot of in my collection and I don't know why this is just it's giving me all the feels. It's kind of reminding me of my mom and I think maybe because I'm just like miss my mom. So I'm like I, I kind of want this even more now because it just reminds me of my mom. But I want this. I want all of this. <laughs> Except for the fucking bath shit. Like I don't need like an old woman candle or some bath. Per what the fuck is a bath pearl? I, I feel like the bath pearls, I would confuse them with the fucking scent beads. Uh, no, thank you. No, I'm, I'm all set on that. Everything else is absolutely yes. The compact though, the cushion powder. I love the compact. I don't know if I would actually necessarily use the product that's in it, but the compact though. Sometimes I wish I could just buy the fucking compact of these things and just like display them because it's just really cute. Something to think about. But anyway, I love this. I don't know if this is holiday. I don't think this is holiday, but it's going to be available at the end of September. So I'm definitely intrigued um, and we'll definitely check out bits and pieces of this when it comes out. I'm kind of like low key excited of like, <laughs> of all like the holiday makeup that's coming out and like right now uh, I feel like a lot of the palettes or the collections are kind of more on the high end side and some things are really fucking cute and some things are really garbage in any case I just enjoy looking at them so expect like a makeup bingo video probably in the future where it's just going to be a roundup of like <laughs> of all the holiday releases and we'll oh maybe that should just be a separate video actually of me just rating each of the holiday collections or like doing like a tier list that could be an idea Maybe we'll do that in the future. By future, I mean yes, because that sounds like a fun idea and I'm gonna fucking do it. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I got in terms of like makeup products that I wanna talk about. Oh, Westman Atelier is coming out with something that could be kind of interesting. It's the Vital Skincare Complexion Drop Skin Tint. There's just like a lot of skin tints being released between that one and then Iconic London also came out with one. Iconic London one doesn't look so bad, looks okay. I feel like this is the fucking year of the skin tint uh, and I kind of have a lot of foundations right now. I don't know, like I've just kind of been really just enjoying my Dr. Jarts, my Pure Lease, and I'm okay living in that that bubble <laughs> you know what I mean like I don't really think I need any more complexion-y stuff uh, right now but I feel like definitely um, it's something like worthwhile to look at especially considering I live in a fucking bog and I need more lighter coverage things because the heavier the foundation is the more it will melt into a puddle by my feet so it's kind of interesting it's interesting to say the least
least, but um, in any case. Oh, you know what? No, I take that back. There's one more product I want to talk about, and it's from Nomad Cosmetics. So Nomad Cosmetics, I remember like, I want to say like maybe two videos ago or so, I picked up one of the palettes that they recently came out with, the Provence palette, and I really fucking like it. I also got the Haunted palette, or was it Haunted Christmas time? What the fuck was it called? Haunted Europe palette. <laughs> I purchased both of those palettes. I really have been enjoying them. I was gonna make a review video on the newer palette until this palette just launched and I have it. So Nomad Cosmetics, full disclosure, this was actually sent to me in PR. So I'm very, very appreciative. Thank you so much to the brand. And um, I definitely am going to be making a video on it because one, it has a fucking sloth on the palette, okay? I don't even care what the quality is like at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's like the standard Nomad quality that I have recently tried, then I know this is going to be really fucking good. This looks so perfect, so pristine. I love the size of these palettes, even though yes, you do get a lot of colors. It doesn't feel like super overwhelming, like Morphe, for example. You always get like a really nice quality size mirror, which is always really good. And I just think their color stories are always done so well. And I'm glad I finally made a purchase. And I'm just so excited and thankful that this palette was sent to me. So this is called the, I don't even know how to pronounce this. So basically, this is like a Costa Rica palette, right? I'm not even going to attempt to even fucking pronounce how the palette's called. I have to like try to Google it. <laughs> basically the rainforest in Costa Rica. And I am just, I can't, this little sloth is sending me. Okay, like the little sloth is, is really just, oh my God, I can't. I can't. <laughs> By the way, not to like get off topic here, but did you know, did you know in Florida, <laughs> in Florida, <laughs> there's a place where you get to hold a sloth. I'm gonna do it. I, I, I need to be one with my babies. I, <laughs> that's the day I'm literally gonna be crying hysterically. <laughs> just having like, just literally like, uh, as a little sloth clings to me. Okay, I can't, I can't. I'm like, the thought of it's really, <sighs> I'm trying not to cry. I know you could do that here in Florida and I'm so excited. And then I found out actually even more so recently, my friends who still live back in New York, there is a place on Long Island that you can also hug a sloth. And it's weird because it looks like a storefront, like a fucking Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm like, I'm confused. So I'm like, what is this? But apparently there's a place out in Long Island where you get to like, hold a sloth. I don't know, was it in, uh, I think it was in like Hop Hog or something like that. But apparently you can hold sloths in, in, in Long Island if you're interested. But if you're in Florida, you can also hug them here. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, anyway, expect a review on this palette this week. I cannot wait to put this all over my fucking face. If it's anything like, the, if oh, I need to touch this one. Ooh, ooh, that's good. That is good. Ooh, that's like so pretty. Like a nice little duochrome hanging bridges has like a green red flip. Oof, that's gorgeous. I just love how buttery these are. And I love the pan embossings. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I'm sorry, hello. That is a good motherfucking yellow. Those are so pretty. I can't wait to put them all over my goddamn face. I'm so excited. Expect a review sometime this week. And again, thank you so much to uh, Nomad for sending this my way. The sloth is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> amazing bitch, amazing I can't. Anyway, so um, yep, that's pretty much my makeup hangover. If there are any products uh, that you know, you've been thinking about or whatever, let me know, I, I wanna hear from you. <laughs> I love you, let's talk, let's chit chat, okay? Uh, definitely go check out Emily and Audra's videos and tell them I said hi. And of course, again, thank you to Monk Pack for sponsoring today's video. Y'all go get some delicious granola bars. They are absolutely amazing. They're so good, I can't wait to buy more. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Patreon to all my beautiful, wonderful patron bubbies. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross actually. Garbage boat afloat, I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. I just want you to get inside my belly so we can be one and it can be adorable. If you wanna know what is currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little cupcakes later. Bye.